We had Charles Houston Community Center. Everyone who signs up for this advanced boxer size class in Alexandria. All right, work time. Let's get it. Let's go. Soon realizes pain is weakness. Leaving your body. To be stronger, faster, and healthier. One, two, three. 74, trying to make it to 75. All you have to do is listen to instructor Tony Suggs. One, two, three, two, four, four, three, two, zip, zip, zip. Who keeps me going? Regulars John Perlman and Mike Diffley say boxing's ability to improve agility and coordination. Snap it, twist it, hook it, twist it. Has slowed the progression of their Parkinson's disease. It makes a big difference. We're not sick, we just have Parkinson's. Nine, ten, great job. That means you just keep going. Two, three, two, four, four, three, two, flip, flip, dip. These amateur sluggers are inspired to push beyond their limits dip, dip. because they have a ringside seat to one of the greatest tales of redemption. What about his story? His story, his story is incredible. I know what a champ feel like. I know what it takes to be a champ. Tony Suggs was among the toughest brawlers in all of boxing in the 1980s. Boom, boom, boom. A right hook so boom, devastating, boom. he knocked out 16 of his final 18 opponents. I fought with a lot of anger, so I had a lot of anger in my heart because, because of the things I went through as a child. Suggs' rage from a life surrounded by domestic abuse proved effective in the ring, winning him a spot at the U.S. Olympic trials. But the night before a critical bout, his seven-month-old daughter, Ashley, died of sudden infant death syndrome, plunging Suggs into darkness. Downhill, no breaks, smoking crack, in and out of jail. Prison gave Suggs the time to sober up, to better cope with his shattered past, and to mend his broken heart. Every time I do something good, you know, I look up and I, and I, and I always ask her, are you proud of me, you know? Suggs often says he turned a mess into a mission. He accepts where he's at and he goes from there. And that's got to be an inspiration for anybody. Anybody that's been knocked down by one thing or another. 40 years ago, Tony Suggs learned in this very gymnasium how to punish others with his ferocious power. Now that he's back, he's teaching us how to live. Don't stop, don't quit, don't give up, don't give in. You know, keep the faith. It's going to get better. Look it, 